You rolling? I'm rolling. This might be one for the B-roll. It is too. I got some. I, I got to get armor. the launch. See, I got class three plates in. I don't know. Well, that way, if you fall, you won't get hurt. Speaking of getting hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, keep it rolling. You going for round two? Nice. Time to talk tactical nylon here again in the Net and Fancy project. This time I'm going to be covering the Condor Tactical MOPC, that is modular operator plate carrier. Hey TM Peers, hello world, this is Nut and Fancy. Here comes a thorough review on this tactical nylon option for your system. Look at my trigger finger, it's like totally worn out on these gloves. By the way, those are mechanics gloves that I've uh, reviewed previously, love them. I've gone through about, I don't know, four pair since I've reviewed them. Wearing them out here in TMP. We do a lot of shooting, backpacking, hiking, all that stuff. Back to the MOPC. I am impressed with the rig. On several outings, uh, I have found it to be a very comfortable, tough, rugged, versatile rig. Kind of all the things I'm going to talk about via, here it comes, brace yourself, talking points. Uh-huh. Forgetting stuff. You know, mixing up details, whatever. I'll do the best I can. Like I say, it's going to be the most thorough review I think you'll see on this rig. Anywhere online or in print media for that matter. Um, it's excellent. First up, jumping right into the talking points. Versatility. Um, remember, I always talk about systems here in the Nut and Fancy Project. Everything integrates into a system. Cool. You should put some thought into your systems. That's why I make my videos the way I do, to have you kind of think along those lines. You got an AK variant rifle, awesome. You have an AR-15, great. Along with that comes perhaps optics, lighting systems, magazines, you know, ergonomic, uh, Enhancing well, features grip, like stocks, shoot, grips, whatever. Yeah, the they all have to work together to suit over. you and your needs and what you're trying to get out of your system. Part of that is how you want to carry your, your yeah. stuff. You know, in this case, mostly we're talking about magazines. You know, your reloading capabilities. I don't care who you are, you know, police officer, civilian sheepdog, military operator. You got to have some system to carry it. And I always laugh when I see movies and the guy's running around with a tactical carbine of some sort. And he's got no vest or anything. There's nothing. It's just a joke. Come on, Hollywood. Get your details right. I don't know who the technical advisors are in some of those movies, but laughable. All right, MOPC. P-O-U. Uh, first, let's start off with my favorite, one of my favorites, the civilian sheepdog. Second Amendment, baby. You know it. It's your right to have these guns to defend home and family. Forget hunting, forget sport shooting. 
we're talking defense of your home and your family, of your freedoms. This is a great Second Amendment rig, you know, for a civilian sheepdog. Outstanding, actually. Um, is a reserve police officer, perhaps. Maybe it's up to you to buy your own gear. Your department allows you to buy your own LBE. Great option, just like the other options I've discussed in the, the Nut and Fancy project. All these POUs are going to be very similar. Military operators, eh, generally you're going to get issued your stuff. So you may not have that option available to you. Um, you might, there might be some uh, you know, guys deploying, maybe some contractors over there. Um, so I'll talk to my contracting audience. I mean, if you're, you're buying your kit, this is a good option. You know, does it rise to the level of you know, US made options? Eh, I'll kind of address that as best I can. Let me say right off too, I really would have loved to give this a year long test, but dudes, it's just getting insane. The amount of testing I'm doing. So uh, I took this out on a couple outings and, and I'm gonna do the review now. Because if I wait any longer, you're not gonna see this review for another five months and that's ridiculous. With Christmas coming up, maybe it's an option for you, I don't know, to ask Santa for something cool from Condor Tactical. All right, that's the versatility. I'm talking POUs mainly. Uh, and then the real estate. Um, we're talking about loadouts. Uh, is it capable of a DL4, DL5 loadout where you're really you know, loaded for bear? A lot of magazines. And I'm talking six plus rifle mags, maybe four pistol plus your pistol. I mean, we're talking a big loadout. I would say probably not. This is more of a DL3 loadout, and that's exactly what you're looking at. Something where I'm carrying like three rifle mags. As you can see, I'm running a kangaroo pouch, also for con... con I can't speak. Also from Condor Tactical. That's a great pouch system, by the way. I think I'm going to review it separately because otherwise they kill airtime here. Um, three rifle mags, DL3, pretty much. With a pistol, you know, three pistol mags is a little bit light for me. I usually like to have five, maybe even six with a DL3. Um, but that's what it is. I just don't think it has a ton of room on the plate carrier. Um, the reason is, when we talk about comforts, it's a contoured rig. Okay, it's contoured and it's very comfortable. You don't have a ton of real estate. You got some on the side, you got some on the back. Um, there's a disadvantage to the side plate though, uh, is that it's not really stiff unless, like I'm doing here, you're running an armor system in it. Okay, in the plate pocket the armor that uh, Condor provides. Let me mention that here as we go along. Uh, let's talk about taking or putting the rig on and off. I kind of cover that under versatility. You know, it might be better placed under comfort, but it's here, so we'll do it now. Uh, give me a second. I got to strip all this stuff off. Uh, that way, we can actually take a look at the vest and maneuver it better on the table. This is a tough review because I got to bring the camera way up so you can see the details too. Uh, FYI, running the Glock third gen OD frame, seen many times in the Nut and Fancy project. Actually, this is the same one I reviewed for the Glock series of vids. Awesome, running a Serpa holster. Excellent, horizontal style, even more excellent. Uh, Magpul P Mags, foliage green. Give me a second, I'm gonna strip all this stuff out. We're back looking at the MOPC with most of the stuff stripped out. By the way, running a Fred Perrin Spider Co. Discontinued Blade, so sad. I think I reviewed this sometime. That's Duracoated like I showed you in the MissionSpecCamo.com video, sick. Yeah, it blends really nicely into that mission spec as opposed to the black sheath and everything standing out. And if it blends into the vest, it's going to blend into the environment, at least where we go. All right, so putting the vest on and off is maybe a little bit more complicated than some other options I've reviewed, like the 511 vest. It's a cummerbund style of vest. You have a retention strap under here you undo with a snap. Then you just lift it up. And then you have two side attachments here and you just kind of, I leave one side attached and then I swim into the vest. Uh, let's see, which one do I have? Like I'll just unclip one side. So you swim into it, put the shoulder straps in, clip the interior buckle like so. Notice that it does have elastic keepers on it. There you go right there. And then you just put the cummerbund thing on right there. Okay, uh, not super uh, fast, I would say. Um, but it's not super hard either. Once you get the hang of it, no big deal. Uh, I don't know if I've reviewed a cummerbund style of vest before. I sure have shown them a lot on the camera. In fact, in Armed Serenity and a lot of other tactical shoots, I think many 14 against the world, I was wearing the Black Hawk, not Black Hawk, but uh, Blackwater tactical vest. Blackwater! 
Nothing fancy, how do you like Blackwater? Dudes, I was just going for what was on sale. I got that from Botash Tactical and it was like way cheap. And it's been a great tactical vest. I haven't reviewed it because it's no longer available. This one's available. All right, let's jump, let's move along. I probably forgot some stuff. Putting it on and off, talked about that. Sizing and adjustability. I'm 6'3", 200 pounds, guys. Okay, if you are smaller uh, and skinnier than me, I'm not really skinny, I'm just regular build, um, you'll probably like the MOPC from Condor. Seriously, I think it suits uh, maybe smaller guys a little bit better than it does taller guys. Um, I don't find it to be too small for me. Again, the real estate thing I talked about. Um, it's, it's nice, it's extremely comfortable in wearing. Um, but I think it fits smaller guys better. One, one size fits most is what I will say. Adjustability is excellent. I already showed you on the interior. Show you again. You know, obviously all vests are like this. This is nothing special. If they don't have adjustability, something's wrong in 2010 at least, going on in 2011. You know, you can tighten this up. Uh, how far will it expand if you're a larger dude? You know, a big fella? Uh, I say a lot. I mean, like me, it's going to I mean, it's going to be a tiny plate carrier on a really big dude. It's going to look kind of funny, to be honest with you. Um, but it has that adjustment. You can go pretty wide. No, I didn't measure it. Um, and then the shoulder straps work just fine. Padded, you just unsnap those and then adjust your buckle. Like we see on pretty much any quality vest. The buckles are decent. They're not fast tech quality. Jumping ahead to quality talking point. They're okay. I didn't notice any squeak coming from them in my testing but again this is not a long-term test so will that develop as you you know months and years go on don't know so far so good by the way notice what I normally do I reverse it so those buckles are running in the rear okay because I don't like a cluttered shoulder and if you run that way speaking of which I think uh, we're kind of bleeding over into comfort right now this is where you put the stock of your gun, guys, right here. You don't want crap there. You don't want buckles and all that other stuff, you know, uh, getting in your way for your sh what I called your shoulder weld. If you reverse those buckles, no problem. Good adjustability, though. Remember, it's not a huge vest, and a lot of guys will like that. Again, smaller stature, you're skinny guy, I think you'll really like it. Comfort. There's a couple points that I really want to point out. That's kind of a, a, a double hit. Uh, couple things I really want to stress with the MOPC. First off, the comfort is double thumbs up. Double thumbs up. It is outstanding. The Condor MOPC is just, in spades, probably the most comfortable vest I've worn to date. And also, this is a good point and a good time to say, um, I, there are so many great tactical nylon suppliers out there. What I try to focus on in TMP is the high value options that really break the mold. And Condor's doing it with this vest. In a lot of ways, they're they're kind of turning the tactical nylon uh, world on its ear, you know, because they're making a lot of other US manufacturers of the brands that we're all familiar with really look at their lines and go, wow, that that provides nearly, maybe not the same, but nearly the same quality level that we're supplying, but it does it at one third the cost, maybe even less. Okay, and in terms of comfort, I think this vest will perform as good as pretty much any other vest you're gonna throw on, if we're just talking comfort. One reason is, is this mesh lining, you can see right here. Uh, it's not cool max, it's just kind of an athletic mesh. There is a downside, yes, you can get weeds and crap stuck in there if you throw it down, you know, in the brush, depending on where you're at. But I'll tell you, it, I wore this for hours and hours on several TMP outings, and it was so comfortable, I almost forgot I had it on. Uh, you talk about breathing nicely, and I'm talking, these were hot conditions we were shooting in. You know, going out there, running and gunning, I think we're doing trench warfare in this sucker. I, I remarked to PFI dude, my crew member at the time, I was like, man, this is a comfortable vest. I mean, seriously. Um, along with that, and I mentioned this in real estate, downside not a ton of real estate, upside it's contoured. It's not going to be gouging into your, your, your neck when you go into a pistol shooting stance, maybe when you go to prone, rollover prone. I didn't notice any issues where I'm getting bunching or uncomfortable you know, uh, interferences with the tactical nylon. Uh, big thumbs up for the comfort. Ventilation is excellent. There's a lot of vests that do not have this the the mesh in fact if you do find a u.s made vest that has mesh you're going to be looking at about five bones for that 
Uh-huh, that's right, about $500 if you get a multicam color. Let me just say this, if you can find the multicam color, there are manufacturers that are doing it, some US-based ones, and I'm pursuing some other options. I am not myopic. I'm not just like, rah, 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 Condor. No, I wanna look at everything and pull in the best to my audience, the highest value, um, the best stuff. And again, if guys don't like Chinese-made stuff, because this is an overseas-produced vest, okay? I've gone down that road, right? You may not like it. I understand that. I actually respect guys that feel that way. I'm going to try to show, throw some options, 100% U.S.-made options in front of the camera, and hopefully multicam and, or some other colors. You guys know the colors I like, and I'll throw those out to you. Um, I'll tell you what, you're going to expect to pay about double of this vest. That's just the way it is. Maybe maybe not quite double, but it's it's going to be a lot. That's just what it is. You don't you don't want a Chinese made vest, you know. Get your credit card out, you know. The shoulders excellent. Um these were very stiff when I got them out of the pa package. I'm talking about um the pads here. So what I did is I actually load it down with uh, all the body armor on it, mags, everything, and I weighed it and I hung it on a hanger for like 3 days and just let those pre-bend to my shoulders. And that worked pretty good. They're excellent. And if you don't like them, just take them off. Uh, very comfortable shoulder. When we talk about comfort too, and this is way important, how about stability? What do I mean by that? Well, does the rig stay put? Is it shifting around on, on you, especially when you're carrying it under weight? I'm talking with a lot of weight. If you really want to know what it's going to do stability-wise, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. The best way to do it is load it up with ceramic rifle plate, front and rear, ceramic side plates, full on, you know, water, I do have a water carrier in the back, I'll show you, you know, load it up, you know, we're talking 45 pounds of stuff, maybe even more, and then run around with it and see how stable it is. I have to tell you, I didn't do that, you know, because I just didn't have time with everything else that's going on, jobs, family, the other reviews, sorry, I didn't do it. I suspect, suspect it's going to be just as comfortable and excellent, but when you load it up with that much gear, we're actually, um, we're going to really stress the whole rig, the stitching and what it can do. Um, we're talking quality and durability and long lasting. We'll get to that here in a second. Talking about stability though, to the level that I tested it, I will say that it was excellent. The rig stayed put. It wasn't twisting around on me. It was again, very, very comfortable. That takes us over to weight. Weight is also excellent. Yes, I weighed it before I loaded it up and it's an amazing two pounds, 10 ounces, which for a you know, armor plate compatible uh, rig is pretty good. It is not quick releasable. You know, if you guys want that, you know, it's gonna be more expensive. And I would really think about whether I need that as a civilian sheepdog. I don't think you need it. As a law enforcement officer, you might need it. Contractor, you probably really need it there. Um, anywhere where you're really likely to take a hit, a serious hit, they need to take that vest off to off of you to get to you fast. You might go with a quick releasable version, um, but man, they get expensive. You know, the Eagle Industries CRAS, that's combat integrated releasable armor system. What? I went on their website. It's like 622 bucks. Crying out loud, man. Um, Weight is outstanding. Two pounds, 10 ounces. I mean, again, you're starting off with a very lightweight rig. And by the way, if you go QR, quick releasable rig, you're gonna have steel cable running, it's gonna add weight. Okay, but starting out with a, a strong lightweight rig makes the whole thing more comfortable. I forgot to show you the armor integration. I need to do that. Uh, you guys have seen these a lot on camera and I still run them because I just love them. And plus I don't have a ton of money to go buy something else. That's why you keep seeing them. and. I'm pretty happy with them, otherwise I'd pitch them. These are the plate pockets on the MOPC. They are not big enough to take a layered ballistic system. You're either gonna run soft armor, you're gonna run, run hard armor in them, and that's it. Um, I did fit some ceramic plates in here and they fit perfectly, they didn't shift around, nothing. Uh, they're excellent. There's your pull pocket, I don't know really why they put that on there, it's not necessary. Running the Diamond Pack Tactical, personal body armor. There's the specifications on it right there. I've shown it to you like lots. What a great uh, soft armor system. So basically it will defeat any pistol round. Okay, rifle rounds, absolutely not. But look at how that fits. By the way, that insert you see is designed for the Diamondback Tactical FAPC. That is fast attack plate carrier. But they've fit it or they made it such that it fits in pretty much any quality rig. 
and it's almost it seems like it's custom made for the Condor MOPC. Outstanding. So I've got that back. I got that front that has the added advantage besides ballistic protection, at least from pistol, of giving your rig some stability. Remember, I'm running my Serpa quick detachable uh, pistol system on top. If you don't have some rigidity under there, not good. So that plate really helps that. Ceramic even more so. On the side, I have the side in the side soft armor plates. Okay. Um, now let's talk about this pocket. Uh, it's kind of a miss in a way because it fits my inserts pretty good, and it would probably uh, I don't know. You could probably slam in some seven by eight. What are they? Esappy plates. You know, I'm not the army dude, so I'm not sure. Uh, and it'd probably fit in there just fine. I have heard complaints from guys saying, "Hey, my armor plates." don't fit in there. Um, I actually prefer a horizontal orientation for soft armor plates so I get full coverage long here for one reason. And secondly, the reason I like that is because it gives rigidity to the side portion here. Whereas I weight it up, let's say I'm running M4 mags on the side that I need that real estate because I'm going with DL4, DL5. I need that rigidity. And with this system, I don't get it. Okay, uh, I've heard of guys busting the stitching out and actually sliding their plates in there, but that's a big job. I mean, because this is, you know, uh, really heavily stitched. It's not an easy task to do, like some other vests that I've talked about in the future. Okay, so that's the armor integration, which I think is pretty awesome, actually. I probably shouldn't fold this all up because we're going to talk about some more interior stuff. Weight excellent. That takes us to coloration. Coloration, you're looking at my current favorite, and that is... Uh, Multicam again getting to my environment where I I do our uh, I do my stuff It just blends in amazingly well multicam you've heard sadly missing and I discuss it a lot You see it several guns in the nut and fancy project being coded in multicam by mission spec camo um, It's because it works. It's a very versatile camouflage pattern, you know it uh, hides the volume and form uh, of You know the guy running around but the beauty of, there's another big thing that I want to stress on the MOPC is notice that camouflage is almost par uh, is paramount. Look at the, the uh, what am I trying to say, the webbing. It's not really webbing, it's sewn 500 denier cordura in multicam. Okay, that's more laborious to do. You don't see many US makers doing that. Instead, you'll see them use a coyote brown nylon, high quality nylon webbing, but it really ruins the camouflage effect of the plate carrier. In this situation, you don't have that. It's Cordura, okay? And it gets even better than from there. And this is why I think US manufacturers are running scared from Condor, is because this is licensed Cordura. Where's the tag? It's under here somewhere. Licensed meaning that it is, the tag's on it somewhere here. There it is, Multicam. That means Multicam, what is it, Cry Industries? runs multicam, something like that. They have certain quality levels that they demand for a product to wear the multicam tag. Okay, we're kind of jumping over to quality here. So to wear the multicam, licensed multicam, they have to use a certain level of fabric that's high quality. And let me tell you, in MOPC, the Condor version, it is high quality. 500 denier quarter or nylon. And it's not that garbage, I shouldn't say garbage, but heavier vinyl coated nylon. It is, and here's an extra kangaroo pouch, and I have it separate so I can show you. It is polyurethane coated on the inside. Let me show you inside this mag pouch. Maybe we can take a peek if I can get this thing open right here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm sorry, I should have prepped something. There's not vinyl. There you go. It's not vinyl in there. It's polyurethane coated, and that is the same style of fabric that the U.S. makers will use. So, and along with that, you get a quality multicam pattern. Amazing. The coloration is out, is superb. And it does, just doesn't come in MC. If you want a different color, I think it comes in black, um, OD, Coyote, and probably another color I'm forgetting. You know, uh, something, uh, what, whatever. Um, but as a police officer, for instance, you don't want to go running around in camo. you got other options. Coloration on this one is absolutely superb. Uh, I kind of jumped ahead. I already talked about armor integration. H2O integration, that is, capability of carrying a camelback is non-existent unless, let me flip this rig over, unless you opt to do what I do and just throw on an additional camelback carrier. This one also 
licensed multicam by Condor Industries. Won't break the bank. Oh, and check this out. All through both the Mac pouches, maybe not so much the MOPC, but notice you see painted eyelets. Okay, they're not black and brass. That's a really tiny detail, but to me it shows attention to detail in the camouflage theme. Okay, thematically, they're doing everything they can to make it uniform. I like that. By the way, from what I can tell, I haven't really used it hard. This uh, Camelback carrier is actually pretty good. And it's Molly attachable. It fit on the back of the MOPC in excellent fashion. Nicely done. So you're going to have to run something like that is what I'm telling you if you want to run a Camelback. There's no interior pocket, which you should expect from a low profile rig just like this. Special features. Uh, drag handle on the back. That's pretty standard from most systems. Everything I've covered in that fancy project pretty much has that. Has a front map pocket. Uh, I don't think we'll use that that much. And I say we, we because I've never seen anybody that does. So you got your whole front rig loaded up. Then you're like, hey, you know what? I need to get into the front map, map pocket. Then you're going to peel this whole thing open with strong Velcro, right? And then get into your interior pocket right here. Could you do it? Yeah, you could. I just never have. And if you do put anything in there, I think I've said this in other reviews, you got to have something really low profile and slim. Otherwise, you're going to just be bulging your whole Mac system out. Uh, not great. Notice the snap, extra attention to detail. Not bad. The Velcro throughout the entire MOPC is excellent. Excellent. We're talking like, uh, I don't see any issues with it at all. Like wearing out issues. Velcro is Velcro. Over time, it's going to fuzz up and wear out. That's just Velcro. But I'm saying... Uh, really high quality from what I can tell. You've got morale, patch area, name, tap, uh, name tag ish, I uh, can't speak. Area for your name tapes right there. It's uh, on the MOPC. I really like that too. And you have Molly up top. There's other you know, plate carriers and vest systems out there that lack this. They don't put Molly up there. They're just saying, hey, you know what? You don't need to run anything up there. Well, maybe I do. You know, give the operator an option. Uh, and that's what MOPC does. They, they have it up there. You don't have to use it. You know, it doesn't you know, take anything away if you don't. As you see, I use it. Um, that's about it for special features. I probably forgot some stuff. I'm going to go on to quality, though. Okay, quality. I'm not going to sit here and, you know, beat the drum for Condor Tactical and say they're like, oh, so awesome. Condor has actually won me over, however, in their quality levels. That's why I'm reviewing their stuff. You know, I talked about the soft shell the Condor Fleece, the modular plate carrier, I've reviewed that one, that was pretty good. You know, is it to the level of, you know, maybe that that Eagle rig I was talking about, the Cyrus? Um, I will say no, but it's, it's approaching it. Okay, let me start with some negative stuff, okay? Keeping it real. First up, if you go to the back of the MOPC, the elastic just absolutely sucks, okay? Like most Cumberbund vests, the attachment goes through the back side of the panel and there's elastic web that is actually adjustable. Okay, you can see that there's, you know, a lace-up system. I gotta pull this out up there. See it? There's a lace-up system there. It's already cinched down because I had to do that to make it fit me. Um, but this elastic band is unimpressive to me. It does not seem to be mil-spec and it can and probably will wear out on you, especially if you really load this rig up. Okay, so, but that's not really a showstopper. Here's why. Because if I was taking this into some serious operations where I'm using it daily, day in, day out, like a contractor or something like that, I would probably take this with me. I'm going to take some heavy uh, or maybe medium to heavy type elastic. This is from an outdoor store that I got this. And if I find a place where you can buy this, I'll annotate it. And what I do is just slam it through the web here. I'd cut this completely off. This elastic would go bye-bye. And then I would just run elastic through these, you know, the spec, I'm sorry, the, the webbing here. And then I just tie it, you know, get rid of that lace system. I make my own with a bungee, with my own bungee cord. And then, you know, a cord lock just like they have. And then I think that would work just fine. I didn't do it here because I don't want to destroy the system until I have to. Okay. That's kind of a miss quality wise. Here's another one. Okay. The upside is they have their own Molly, uh, multi-cam webbing it's sewn so it's, that's really good remember it's labor intensive to do that a lot a lot not a lot of uh, folks are doing that or manufacturers the downside and i'm going to take you to the front of the mopc to show you is that it's not very consistent in places notice this wide narrow K 
Okay, you're gonna see that in a couple places on MOPC. So when I was threading the Serpa here, the platform, it was really kind of tough to get it in because it was an inconsistent Molly spec. Hmm, kind of talked about that before in the project, haven't we? Is it really bad, nothing fancy? No, not really. In fact, as I threaded the kangaroo pouch on, I found it to be just fine. It was only in like a couple areas, like this area right here, this little section. It's not throughout the whole vest. You know, and then as we get to the edges, that's more narrow. They should have a full Molly specification. So Condor, when you watch this, please, improve your quality levels on your Molly specification. Make it just like the US guys. Okay, we'll thank you for them. Stitching is excellent. That's right, I said it. Stitching is excellent. I see it, you know, in all the right places, reinforced. You know, if we go to the interior, this is a good place to show you right here. Look at that. See, that's double stitched. Look at the uniformity coming through here. And by the way, that seam taped all the way around. If we go to the interior of it. Look at seam tape, there's no rough edges, there's no fraying fabric. And remember, you're looking at an $80 multicam vest, yo. $80, not 280, but $80. There's your shoulder strap stitching. I don't think you'll have any problems with the stitching blowing out on you, mostly. I shouldn't say that because you just never know what's gonna crop up. You know, where did I see it? Right here, okay, see that? That's kind of pulling out of ways uh, as I was using it. Will that bust out someday? I don't know, but look, it's double stitched right here and double or triple stitched in most places. Excellent, I already talked about the quality of the fabric. It's superb. Um, there's no zippers. The fasteners are not, you know, of course they're not gonna be Fastex brand because they're an overseas make. Uh, I would say overall quality is excellent. Value, Whew. getting through this review. I say value is excellent, if not outstanding. Okay, uh, look in the upper right, that's where I recommend to go get it, because it's the cheapest price I can find. I may throw two sources up there. My job is to save you guys money. However I do that, I do it, and I do it well, I think. Okay, use the nut and fancy code. If there is one, I'll show it in annotation. Check it out, but for around 90 to $80, I'm ballparking these. Don't hold me to them, because it's subject to change. You're getting a multi-cam vest? lined with mesh, good stitching, comfortable, perfect armor pockets, at least on the front and back, the sides, eh, depends on what size your plates are, you may not dig them so much, but still, uh, wow, that is a ton of value. Track record, excellent. That's right, I said it. Before I did this review, I was like, you know what, I've had really good experience with my Condor MOPC. In fact, most of my Condor stuff, I want to see if it jibes with everybody else. So I went around researching it, reading it, looking up right, and that's a great place to go and read reviews of guys who are, you know, contractors, military guys, police officers, regular civilian guys using them hard. And I don't hear a lot of negative things about Condor. I really don't. Well, the overall theme I'm hearing is it performs like the more expensive vests. You know, if you want to go out and, you know, brag to your friends that you have this you know, brand of tactical nylon, rock on. But if you just want a rig that works, it's gonna save you money. You know, Condor is offering some great options and I'll tell you what, I'm extremely impressed with the MOPC, extremely. You know, and don't even get me started on the airsoft paintball thing. If guys say, oh, that's just airsoft, you know, I say you're a tactical elitist. Yeah, I'll say it. I was like, you know, you're just an elitist. It, you went out and spot, you know, spent $500 on your rig, and then you're just lambasting everything else, so you can feel good about your own purchase decision. I, know, I made a whole video about that. You know, myopic, your brand myopic or type myopic. It's a human condition. It's not anybody's fault. We're all that way. We want to say, well, wow, what I bought is so much better than that. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> maybe 20% better. Maybe not. The Condor MOPC, in terms of versatility, comfort levels, durability, camouflage capabilities, at least in this one that I'm seeing, is excellent, if not outstanding, as of 2010. So good job, Condor. Really, it's excellent. That's a nothing fancy review. Highly recommended piece of kit. You're gonna see me wearing it out there. Um, it's hard to find a, a multi-cam rig for less than $100. Uh, not just hard, almost impossible. See ya. Round two. Round two, baby. Nice. Yeah? Mostly. Mostly. You I was kind of off, 
on you, you ready for me to show you how to do it? Dude. Film it. <laughs> 